Hello everyone, welcome back to MathMo. Today we have an interesting algebra problem. We have 2 to 16th power minus 16 and we need to solve it. The first way is to find this 2 to the 16th power, but I want to show you a really good method how can we solve it faster. So take a look, we need to know a formula because if we write this 2 to the 16th power as 2 to the 8th power square and minus 4 square, so as you can see we have difference of squares. And if you know the formula a square minus b square, it will be equal to a minus b times a plus b. So if we know this formula, we can write this easily with using this formula. So this is our a and this is our b. So we can use this formula. What we'll have? As a result, we'll have an interesting case. We will have in first parentheses, we'll have a, a minus b, a equal to 2 to the 8th power minus b, b equal to 4, minus 4, and the sum. In the next parentheses we'll have sum 2 to the 8th power plus 4. So we all know that 2 to the 8th power will be equal to 256, because we know that 2 to the 10th power equal to 1024, and it's really good to know these, these cases, so learn this or remember this, and as you can see we can put this 256 instead of this 2 to the 8th power we will have 256 minus 4 and times 256 and plus plus 4. As you can see we can easily find this. These elements we will have 252 times 260. So the last step we need to multiply this these two numbers. How can we how can we solve this? Let's write this 200 and 50 as 250 plus 2 and multiplying by this using the same logic 250 plus 10. So we write this 252 as 250 plus 2 and this as 250 plus 10. So let's let's multiply parentheses by parentheses. We will have 250 times 250 plus 250 times 10 plus 2 times 250 and plus 2 times 10. So we just multiply our parentheses. So let's multiply this. First we have 25 times 25. We'll know that this will be equal to 625 and we'll have to the zero. So as a result we'll have 62,500. So this is this element. Right here we will have 250 times 10 plus 2500 plus right here we'll have 500 and the last step plus 20 because 2 times 10. So let's add all of these elements and as you can see if we add this right here we will have 65,520. So this is this is our answer. If you still have any question write a question in the comment. Write your suggestion in the comment. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.